so it's a privilege to be able to offer this blessing uh, on this painting, this amazing and beautiful painting, because it's going to be secured for God. So I invite you to join me in this blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the crowning glory of all the saints and servants of God, and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we begin to celebrate this rite of praise of God on the occasion of the unveiling of this beautiful image of the servant of God, Vincent Cavadana, for public use, we must be properly disposed and have a clear appreciation of the meaning of this celebration. When the church blesses a picture or statue and presents it for the public by the, by the faithful, it does so for the following reasons. That when we look at the representation of those who have followed Christ faithfully, we will be motivated to seek the city that is to come. That we will learn the way that will enable us most to surely to obtain complete union with Christ that as we struggle along with our earthly cares, we will be mindful of the saints and servants of God, those friends and co-heirs of Christ who are also our own brothers and sisters and our special benefactors, that we will remember how they love us and are near us, interceding unceasingly for us and are joined to us in a marvelous communion. The Lord be with you. Amen. Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The right says I may give a brief reflection, and it will be brief. I just came from the 1030 Mass at Our Lady of Lourdes in Crystal City, uh, and I preached about the Gospel as well as the first reading, uh, the tale of two widows, the widow of Zarephath in our first reading of the Old Testament, and then the poor widow at the treasury who gave all she had, a few pennies, in Christ praising her. And I said that one thing that bound both of those widows together, besides that they lost their husbands, is sacrifice. And I said it's a great thing for us to reflect on as Christians this Sunday as we commemorate and remember our veterans for Veterans Day, because that is a key word too, sacrifice. I remember back in about 2005, 2006, when I was in Afghanistan serving the Marines, I got a call or an email and then ultimately I talked to the beginnings of the creation of the uh, exhibit on Father Capadano here at the Marine Corps Museum. And they were asking for my uh, input and thoughts and that it would be put in that virtue of sacrifice is very appropriate. So I, I kind of reflect back onto that day that all the sacrifices that have been made by all of our veterans, including the portrait we now bless today of Father Capadano and his great sacrifice. But I reminded the congregation, I remind us today in this blessing, to remember what the word sacrifice means, sacrificio, to make holy, to make holy. When we we're asked to sacrifice, we'd rather go the other way. But when we're, we're asked to be holy, maybe that interests us, and we want to gravitate towards that. that. That could be something we want. Well, in order to be holy, we do have to sacrifice. Now, it's not something we need to search out or or want, it's going to be there. There will be sacrifices because that's a part of the human existence. 
But when we do sacrifice like those widows did, with great joy and generosity, it's then that we become holy. Truly, Father Capadano gave his greatest sacrifice, as many have done in the military. They laid down their lives for our freedoms. But that sacrifice was not in vain, because it still inspires us to also empty our lives, to give and be generous, to truly be holy. Praise peace. Our response to the psalm will be, Blessed are they who delight in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who delight in the law of the Lord. Happy the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, that delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who delight in the law of the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, and the way of the wicked he vanishes. Blessed, Blessed are they who delight in the law of the Lord. God our Father makes his saints and servants of God into the likeness of his Son, and the power of the Holy Spirit continually sanctifies the church. Let us therefore offer our petitions to him, saying, our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O God, source of all holiness, and the saints you have shown the many splendors of your grace, grant that in them we may honor your majesty. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our God of wisdom, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you built your church on the foundation of the apostles. Keep their teaching secure among your faithful people. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. You made the martyrs powerful witnesses, even to the point of giving their lives. Help all Christians to bear fruit, faithful witness to your Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. You give holy virgins the gift of imitating the virginity of Christ. Grant that we may see in consecrated virginity a special sign of the promise of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And all your saints and servants of God, you show your presence and make known your countenance and your word. Grant to your faithful what, that when they honor the saints and servants of God, they will find themselves drawing closer to you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We are a people gathered into one by the power of the Holy Spirit, called to the same holiness. Let us therefore together raise our prayers to our one God and Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, source of all grace and holiness, look kindly on your servants who have erected this image of servant of God, Vincent Capadano, the friend and co heir of Christ. He is for us your witness to the life of the gospel and stands in your presence to plead for us. Grant that we may benefit from his intercession. And we ask this now in your holy name. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, the crowning and the joy of all his saints and servants of God, has graciously given you the gift of their patronage. May he continue to bestow his blessing upon you. Deliver you from present evils by the intercession of the saints and guide by the example of their holy lives. May you be found always ready to serve God and your neighbor. The church rejoices in the serenity that your sons and daughters of the church are destined to join the saints in heaven and to share in their unending happiness. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.